In structural geology, we often get two planes intersecting. Examples include where cleavage cuts bedding, where two fold limbs meet at the fold hinge line, and where a joint cuts cleavage. Where two planes intersect, a lineation is formed on one plane where the other plane cuts it. In this clip, two planes are plotted as great circles to show how you can work out the plunge and plunge direction of the lineation. One plane has a strike of 0, 3, 0 degrees and a dip of 36 degrees towards the southeast. The other plane has a strike of 1, 4, 1 degrees and a dip of 68 degrees towards the southwest. Start by marking the North Pole on the tracing paper. Plot each plane as a great circle. Count 30 degrees around the primitive circle, remembering the heavy lines are at 10 degrees and the subdivisions are at 2 degrees. Mark on the tracing paper the strike of the plane. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the North Pole on the stereo net. The plane dips 36 degrees towards the southeast, so find the correct section on the equator and count 36 degrees along the equator from the primitive circle towards the centre of the stereo net, again remembering the subdivisions and divisions on the stereo net. Hold the tracing paper in place and draw along the great circle that this point lies on. Rotate the tracing paper so that the north pole is in its original position on the stereo net. Count 141 degrees around the primitive circle. Mark on the tracing paper the strike of this plane. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole on the stereo net. This plane dips at 68 degrees towards the southwest, so find the correct section of the equator and count 68 degrees along the equator from the primitive circle towards the centre of the stereo net. Hold the tracing paper in place and draw along the great circle that this point lies on. Rotate the tracing paper so that the North Pole is in its original position on the stereo net. Mark the intersection of the two planes. Rotate the tracing paper so that the point marking the intersection lies on the north-south line of the stereo net. Count the small, small circles to determine the amount of plunge of this lineation. In this case, the plunge is 30 degrees. Write this reading on the tracing paper and mark the primitive circle to show its plunge direction. Rotate the tracing paper so that the North Pole is in its original position on the stereo net. Count around the primitive circle to determine the plunge direction. Remember, the uh, heavy lines are at 10 degrees and that subdivisions are at 2 degrees. In this case, the plunge direction is at 155 degrees. On the tracing paper, record the plunge and plunge direction of the lineation. You can also work out the pitch or rake of this lineation in the plane 14168 southwest. To do this, Rotate the tracing paper so that the great circle you've drawn lies on the great circle on the stereo net. From the north pole on the primitive circle, count the small circles to the point that records the lineation. This gives you a measurement of 33 degrees. Rotate the tracing paper so that the north pole is on the north pole on the stereo net. And write the pitch of the intersection on the tracing paper. The pitch is at 33 degrees to the southeast. Record this measurement on the tracing paper. 